Hey, hey guys. So it looks like Leanne got called out. Finally. It's about time. See Ellie getting called out. She gets called out for the racist stuff that she's been saying. It's about time. I'm very well known in London more than no, anything not. as well. So everyone knows me. No, they don't. Um, so you're well known in the ends. Is that what you're saying? In everywhere, yeah. Absolutely. Right, cool. Obviously, I've known Modine since I was little. I've actually grew up with him. So I kind of, you know, but to me, he's no one really. But obviously, you see him as famous. But anyways, forget all that. That's not even why I wanted to request you. So, cool. Why? None of them are famous. Just because they get a few thousand people watching them, or because they're well-known, as she puts it, doesn't make them famous. Like actually look up what it mean what it takes to be famous and what famous means. They've done nothing that would warrant them that title of famous. Nothing. So they're not famous. Why do you feel like you can like say stuff like the N word and just say mad homophobic? Well, listen, I was intoxicated yeah, when I did yeah. say that word. Uh, if I wasn't intoxicated, I would have never said that yeah, word. You would have. But it's uh, like, my, like yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I got some weed as well um, uh, delivered to me as well, and I ended up smoking that. You know I what? That's been in the papers, that you know, and I think she had so it was something to do with her. The court, like, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of weed through the Royal Mail. It's been in the news and everything. And if you remember, she grasped on herself technically because she had she opened up a P.O. box and she went to a restaurant and she would say on live stream, oh, I've got weed in the mail and stuff and whatnot. People took that footage and sent it to the police and to the papers. I think it had not meanly to do with her, but she would have it would have had something to do with that. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I was drinking red wine. I drank like two bottles and I'm bipolar. Still not an excuse. Now, my brain is different. Like sometimes, even the doctors were saying it. I don't know too Wait, much. Wait, hold on. I'm going to stop because... you. That's not an excuse. But you know, having bipolar, having a drink. I've, I smoke weed. I have a drink. Well, I, I was singing, I was singing Trippy Red Sweetheart. No, you weren't. Or even if you were. What, what where in the Trippy Red song does it say? To call your sons and your ex the N word in all of Birmingham. What 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 lyrics does it say everyone in Birmingham's the N word? I've never heard them lyrics before. So where? She always uses that I was singing Trippy Red. No, you weren't. And all the other times you were racist. They're not Trippy Red's lyrics. Like songs I've never heard before. No okay, but you're a white woman, is what I'm trying to tell you. My family are black, No, they're not. So I'm not black, no, they're not. Look, you see, she's getting angry because she's getting called out. No, they're not. Your ex's family is, but yours isn't. Let's not forget, your ex can't stand you. And neither can his family. So, your own sons don't even like you. Get that through your thick skull. Like a white girl, sweetheart. But yeah, I know I shouldn't have said it, but when I'm intoxicated and whatever, but I wasn't aiming cool, it to so if I'm intoxicated and I saw you... All right, if I... It doesn't... People, like, when they're intoxicated, it makes you see what you're really thinking and what you'd really want to see. So if you're racist and homophobic and everything whilst you're intoxicated, that just means you're all oh, when you're sober. It's just when you're sober, you're too scared to see it. That's all it means. I'm intoxicated. So black you... people say it. Black people shouldn't say it. But really? Black, say it. blood, are you dumb? It You're doesn't matter, black. darling. It shouldn't be said anyway. Eminem says it, doesn't he, when he's with the man? All right, M. listen. All right. But I was intoxicated. I all right, listen. So if I... Like okay, that. cool. So listen to Right, the... so Eminem says it. What's that got to do with you? Were you given... I'm pretty sure Eminem's been given permission to see it. Have you been given permission? No. I mean, you know, it is it is a word that some people will argue that shouldn't be used whatsoever by anyone or everyone should be allowed to see it. But no, we're not at that stage right now. Are we? 
it's a word for black people to use and not white. And unfortunately, until it, until everyone catches up with everyone else, that's the way it is. That's the law. A white person says that word, it's racist. So don't say it. Can't say it any simpler. I was intoxicated. Love. I was off my tit, sweetheart. All right, I cool. But I listen. was off my head. So you can't say listen, why, listen. why, because I was listen. unaware. All right, but listen, if you was, if I was intoxicated and I saw you on the road or whatever, and I came up to you and I slapped you in your face, and that's I'm where she very leaves. well known in London. Mother. And that's where she, I know exactly what point she was getting at. You know, because Leanne's saying that she was intoxicated, that's the reason why she said it, you know, it was a mistake. And I know the point she was going to get at, you know, being intoxicated, sees Leanne, slaps her in the face, you know, should she get away with that, you know, because it's a crime. Like I said, it's illegal to say that, for a white person to say that word. So... I knew the point she was going to get, but she obviously rage quit. Because she said that. Pathetic. It's not an excuse. Being intoxicated isn't an excuse. If that's a case, stop drinking. But like I said, alcohol just, just makes you see things that you're already thinking. It really does. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.